Hello and welcome back to Career Launcher. As a part of our daily practice questions and exercises that we are releasing on YouTube using the questions that uh, have been in the mocks, in this particular video, you will be seeing solve three questions of geometry that have appeared in Countdown CAD. In a triangle PQR, PQ is given as 5, PR is equal to 7 and QR is equal to 8. If the point S is on the circumscribed circle of the triangle such that P is bisects angle QPR, then what is the ratio that we need to find? So let's say, let me draw the circle. And let me take the points P, Q, R here. This is P, Q and R. And we have this as an angular bisector. So this is S because it is bisecting the angle Q, P, R. So let me take this angle as X. This would be X. This angle is Y. This angle will also be y because these are the angles in the same seg segment and this is z, this will also be z. The sum of the angles must add it to the. So we have, we have been given this is 5 centimeters, we have been given this is 7 centimeters and qr is given as 8 centimeters. So we know that since pt happens to be the angular bisector of angle p, qt by TR must also be equal to 5 by 7, which is equal to PQ by PR. So we can say that QT would be equal to 5 by 12th of 8, twice, thrice, or is equal to 10 by 3. So let me write this as 10 by 3. <coughs> so I will use this as one result that I have. And then we also have two triangles, triangle P, Q, T is similar to triangle P, S, R. And what is it that we want to find out? So if we want to find out P, S by S, R, that is what we want to find here. That must be equal to P, Q by Q, T. PQ is given as 5, QT I already found as 10 by 3. So what we get is the ratio is 3 is to 2. So this must be equal to 3 by 2. Two chords A and B, A, B and C, D of a circle intersect externally at a point P. So let me take, so this is a circle A, B, let's say this is point P and say this is C, D and this is point P. C, D is given as 3 and P, D is given as 5 and uh, A, B is given as 6. So we have to find out the length P, A. So let me assume P, P is equal to X. So we know that if P is a point and these two are the secants, P, A and P, C are the secants, then P, B into P, A must be equal to P, D into PC. So this is X into X plus 6 must be equal to 5 into 8, which is equal to 40. And 40 can also be broken down as 4 into 10. There's no other uh, positive value that will give you an answer. You could also solve it by using a quadratic, but this is easier for me to do because I see I'm looking for a value if any of these one, three and four, none of them actually, in fact, one and three do not divide uh, 40. So they cannot be your answers anyway. So check with 10 and eight. If it was eight, then you're talking about two into eight. Two into eight is not equal to 40. Hence, this cannot be your answer. Hence, the correct answer has to be anyway. Two. So you could also see this by looking at this factorized form of 40 itself. So you know that PA has to be equal to 10. A solid regular hexagonal prism with the side of base equal to A centimeters is molten and made into two rectangular triangular prisms having twice the length of the side of the base. Okay. Twice the length for the side 
as the base it should be right and maybe the language could have been better here. find the ratio of the height of the hexagonal prism to that the okay so let's say we have a hexagonal prism let me draw an hexagonal prism here and say with, this has got a height it's a decitus h so so the site is h and we have a another triangular prism let's say there are two of these this is h so there are two of these and there's one of the hexagonal prism so the the volume of hexagonal prism must be equal to twice the volume of the triangular prisms. So the volume of the hexagonal prism is given by the area of cross section, which is equal to six equilateral triangles of side A. So six root three by four A squared into the height H. This must be equal to twice of two equilateral triangles, right? So, so this is the equilateral triangle of side 2a that is root 3 by 4 into 2a squared. So this is the area of cross section of the triangular prism into the height h. There are two of those. So if I want to look at this, this root 3 by 4, root 3 by 4 gets cancelled out. This goes thrice. And a so what do I have? I have h by small h is equal to 4 by 3. So the correct answer to this question has to be 4 by 3.